So if you don't know already, an IRA is an amazing tax advantage, retirement saving and investment tool. When you're going to open an IRA, otherwise known as an individual retirement account, you will face two choices, a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA. We all come from different walks of life and are in different financial situations. It's important to know the differences between Roth IRA and traditional IRAs before choosing one of them or both. First off, welcome back to our Beast in Your Family Fire Journey. I hope today's video can be helpful for you. Make sure to give that lonely like button a click, comment below, and share with a friend. So my wife and I chose the Roth IRA because we didn't want to worry about tax at all when we retire. The thought of becoming a tax-free millionaire in the future is so exciting. After we paid off our student loan debt, we started to max out both of our Roth IRAs which is a total of $12,000 per year. The deadline to max out an IRA each year is typically the same as the filing tax return deadline, April 15th. For example, you could have still contributed to your 2021 IRA up until April 15th this year of 2022. So both the Roth and traditional IRAs provide generous tax breaks, but which one should you choose? In this video, I will talk about the five key differences between Roth and traditional IRAs. Again, I hope this information can be useful to you in making a more informed choice. First is tax benefit. Both the Roth and traditional IRAs provide generous tax breaks. If you expect to be in a higher tax bracket when you retire, a Roth IRA will probably be a better suit for you. But if you expect to be in the same tax bracket or lower when you retire, the traditional IRA will probably be a better suit for you. You may be asking yourself why? With a Roth IRA, you can make after-tax contributions and the money will grow tax-free. With the traditional IRA, you can make pre-tax contributions if you meet income eligibility. Your contribution growth will be tax-deferred. Number two is limited income. The 2022 contribution limits for Roth and traditional IRAs is $6,000 or $7,000 if you're age 50 and older you must have enough earned income to cover the contribution. For example, if you only made $1,000 in a year, then you can only contribute up to $1,000 in your IRA. So for Roth IRAs, in 2022, the annual income limit is $1,444 for singles and $214,000 for married filing jointly. This means if you are above that income, you will not be able to contribute to the IRA. For more details on the amount of Roth IRA contributions that you can make for 2022, you can check out the Internal Revenue Service or IRS.gov. Now for traditional IRAs and income limits, there are specific income or AGI adjusted gross income limits that impacts how much you can contribute in pre-tax dollars. This is divided into two situations. You have a retirement plan at work or you do not have a retirement plan at work. If you are covered by a retirement plan at work, you can check out the two different ones at irs.gov to see the deduction limits. Number three is withdrawals. Okay, so with Roth IRAs, earnings from a Roth IRA can be withdrawn tax-free and penalty-free if you are 59 and a half years old and the Roth IRA must have been open for at least five years. However, withdrawals of your contributions, not your earnings, can be taken out at any time without a penalty. With traditional IRAs, earning withdrawals can happen penalty-free after age 59 and a half, but will be taxed at your income tax rate. Contribution withdrawals, on the other hand, not your earnings, after 59 and a half are also subject to tax unless you've made non-deductible contributions. In that case, only part of the withdrawal will be tax-free. Number four, early withdrawal penalty. For both Roth and traditional IRAs, if you withdraw money before age 59 and a half, you might have to pay taxes on your earnings plus a 10% early withdrawal penalty. Now number four, distribution rules, RMDs. With a Roth IRA, you are not required to withdraw any minimum amount of money at any age. For traditional IRAs, generally you will be required to make a taxable withdrawal for a minimum amount of money at age 72. So there you have it. That is a breakdown of traditional versus Roth IRAs. Both of these types of IRAs are amazing tax advantage, retirement accounts, and will help you in the pursuit of financial freedom. Different people have different finance situations. We hope that this video can aid you in making the most suitable choice for you. So make sure you know the differences between Roth and traditional IRAs before making your own decision. The most important thing is to start now. 
Start investing as soon as possible and be as consistent as possible. Compound interest, as we mentioned many times, is just the most wonderful thing in the world. You will see firsthand how miraculous it is and how it helps your money grow like crazy over time. As Albert Einstein says, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it, he who doesn't pays it. I'd love to hear which type of IRA you are interested in using. Make sure to drop a comment down below in this video. If you found today's video useful and helpful for you, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on more financial content to come.